hope you've had a really awesome week. Today I thought that I would film a video for you guys about the things that I think we couldn't have gone without, so kind of like our baby must have. I'm still kind of getting used to remembering things. I have a really, really bad memory, so if I'm looking down it's because I'm looking at my phone to check what it is. Just being honest. Because we had Emerald first, we kind of were able to work out what we really didn't need and what we did need. So the first thing on that list is obviously like somewhere for the baby to sleep. So for us, it was just a bassinet. A lot of other people have co-sleepers. Um, some people choose to co-sleep so they don't get anything like that, which is like totally up to you. Um, but for us, a bassinet was perfect. Um, we just got, our first one was a loan that we borrowed from some family and the one that we have now we bought from Big W for like $80 or something. It has wheels, um, it doesn't rock or anything which would have been really helpful but I mean we can rock it anyways. Yeah so it has wheels so we can wheel it around really easy and when he is kind of starting to stir we can kind of just roll it around and he falls back asleep which is awesome so that's definitely a big thing for us. Another big thing is obviously nappies and wipes. With nappies though I think um, one thing that people make a lot of mistakes with is buying the most expensive brand um, because they want the best for their baby obviously. Um, we did that with Emerald. We spent a lot of money, unnecessary money on, you know, like expensive brands and like the top, what, what people would say is the top of the line. Um, this time we decided to go with, we'll start from the cheapest option and um, if we have issues with that we'll work our way back up. So. We started using the Aldi nappies, just just the normal Aldi nappies, and they're like four dollars for a pack, and they are great. Like we have had no problems with them, and we're saving a bunch of money too. Definitely would tell other people to do the same thing. So like start from the cheapest option, and then if if the nappies leak or whatever, then move up to the next one and the next one until you find one that works what's best for you and then that's your cheapest op option for kind of what works best for you. Same thing with wipes for us. Wipes are kind of like, like obviously you don't want to buy like the really really cheap ones from like the reject shop and like the really cheap shops. You don't want to buy those ones that are real flimsy and like covered in alcohol because you're wiping your baby's butt with them. But like you don't need to go and buy really expensive brand wipes <laughs> like I don't know if there's a difference for us for us there hasn't been um, it obviously depends on your baby but for us we start at the cheapest option work our way up and see what works best pretty much anyways this what the wraps that you use to swaddle your baby um, we have got so many of those and it's yeah we still run out we've got like 20 of them and we still seem to like they just go places and um, we leave them, this is just us personally, we leave them places and um, they get dirty and sometimes, yeah, some, they get some of them that were too small really quickly, so we have heaps of those, we use them for everything, so we use them for, um, if, if we go somewhere and he, we want him to, we want to put him down, we use that to put him down on, we wrap him up in them, we use them for burping, yeah, they're just like, definitely a must have for us. Um, that's the same thing with like small blankets. We kind of, that's in the same category. Um, mittens, big, everyone should have one of these for their babies, especially like newborns, definitely. Um, some newborns have really long nails when they're born. Zeke was one of them. I've trimmed his nails like eight times since he was born and he, like, they just grow so quickly because they, because babies grow so fast, their nails grow fast too, obviously. So, if I didn't have mittens, he would be scratching his face and he would have scratches on his face. I mean, today I was, I trimmed his nails today and earlier, before I had done that, he like got a massive gash in his cheek just from crying. You know, babies like cry and then they throw their, throw them, their hands in the air and stuff. So definitely mittens. I would definitely tell people to get those because those are a massive lifesaver. If you are breastfeeding, uh, nipple cream, so I use the Lansino one, that's staple, <laughs> and um, nursing pads, I have so many nursing pads, I use the Johnston by Johnston ones, they have like a, they kind of got like a shape, hold on, these are the ones that I use, 
Um, they're the Johnson's Ultra Form Nursing Pads. Um, I really, really like these. I used um, washable ones before, which I liked much more, but I just haven't had a chance to buy them, so until I actually do it. I always forget, you know when you do heaps of online shopping, you're like, I don't even remember to do this. I always forget to buy the reusable nursing pads. They have, I just find they're like softer and um, you can wash them so you can keep them obviously. Like this is the shape of them. So it has like a little tag on the back which you take off which has an adhesive strip which you can strap onto your bra so it doesn't move which is which I really like and then it has like a form like a shape <laughs> so it kind of goes like around it which so I really really like that about those um, so nursing pads is a big thing if we go to the shops and I've forgotten nursing pads because I like to change them quite frequently um, yeah if I don't have them I have to like <laughs> use something else because you know like you have like the new walk around with like the milk patch on you it's just it's kind of embarrassing but it's motherhood breast pump was a big thing as well um definitely must have now i think it's really really important that people look after themselves like mothers especially look, to, look after themselves because you can't really be a fantastic like be the best mum you can be if you you aren't happy and you're not excelling yourself so um, I think it's really important to take time out for yourself or you know even like an hour so I mainly use my breast pump I use it like once a day and I pump a bottle of milk physique and that is for when I go to the gym so if I go to the gym or if I go get my eyelashes done or something that is what that bottle is for and that is because I have a couple hours a day to myself if that makes sense we don't always like when I'm away he doesn't always have it um, so next feed he has it anyways um, but yeah that's just because it's just easier like it's not it's nice that nice to be able to go and do something for yourself once in a while and yeah that's what the breast pump is for <laughs> so you can have some free time another must-have for us is the packs that you can get like I think we got one from Kmart and it has um, like a thermometer, it has nail clippers, um, like some medicine spoons and like a snot sucker thing, like a booger sucker. We call it a snot sucker, but it it's like this little pump, like an air pump thing and you like squeeze the air out of it and then you put it up your baby's nose and then let it go and then it sucks it it's like it's so gross but this is like the only way to get this snot out sometimes but yeah it has all this stuff in it um i think it was about twenty dollars and that is like one of our best best things we've ever bought because it has everything that we need in it to like help with all those little things that need to be done like clipping their nails and things so yeah that's definitely a must have for us as soon as, like and we got that before zeke was born yeah, we got that before Zeke was born and yeah, as like pretty much as soon as he came home from the hospital, we had already used it to trim his nails. Well, not straight away, but like in that first week. Um, another thing, so little eyes wipes. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before. Um, they are these little like sun, uh, I don't know, it's like saline kind of saline wipe things they come in these little packets little packs and they are for wiping like like conjunctivitis like gunky eyes when they have gunky eyes our babies seem to get it quite free like everyone used to get it all the time so we're like we'll have some just on hand she had it up until she was like a, a year a year old or something she was always getting um gunky eyes and we always just used to use those wipes and it would clear up within the next couple of days so Zeke has had that a couple of times already so we're really lucky that we had those so that's definitely something that we always have in our house another big thing that we will always have <laughs> while we have babies is um, a baby carrier I really like the wrap carriers um, if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen the one that I've used um, that those wraps wrap carriers are probably the best things for when you have like a newborn or a young baby just because they keep you so close and so warm to your babies um you have that like you can you have that skin to skin contact 
um, because they're so close when you're baby wearing. Um, those are like, I, I definitely recommend those. I love them. And there's also an, just like an everyday carrier, which is our Ergo Baby. So we've just got the classic. I love it. Um, we use it all the time. It's not that we don't like using the pram or anything. We have a really big bulky pram at the moment and I think I'm going to get rid of it because it's just too big. Um, but Zeke prefers to be carried like most babies. <laughs> so having that carrier has really been awesome for us. So we will always have a carrier if we have any more children. That is what we will always have as a baby carrier. Um, oh, and thank you to my friend Danielle for buying us the Ogo Baby as a baby shower gift. It's like the best present ever. Um, a changing mat. This isn't 100% necessary because you can always change your baby on um, like a bed or something um, or like a flat surface with just a, a change, you know, like the the wipe, the change mat so you can kind of just wipe down like the travel ones. You can always just use that. We got just one from Target which is the kind of cushiony and we've put it on top of a dresser and like secured it there. Um, so definitely change mat. Yeah, we didn't we decided not to get a change table because it kind of takes up more space i mean if you've got the space go for it we don't have that that space so we've got a dresser we didn't want to have a dresser and a change table so we decided just to put the change mat on top of the dresser which a lot of people do so we did that to save some space but yeah definitely a change table or a change mat um is a must have for a baby um and then the last thing is just dummies this is just us personally, we didn't have any dummies with Emerald. She didn't have a comforter at all. I was her comforter, so she was comfort feeding all the time. And I didn't realize that I was just nursing. That's totally fine if you want to do it. Um, this time I didn't really have, I felt like I didn't really have the option to do that. Um, felt quite guilty about it, but I didn't really have the option to do that. And he kind of seems to really like having the dummy more. I mean, he's not one of those babies that will quite, like keep drinking until. Like, even if they're really full, just because they like the sucking motion, he gets, like, quite frustrated. So, then he has a dummy and he loves it. So, dummies are a big thing for us. Um, we bought, we got given a new pack of these Tommy Tippy ones. Tommy Tippy? Tippy? Yeah, Tommy Tippy ones. And he took that one straight away. So, if you are going to put your baby on a dummy, I would probably say to... Like this is my personal advice. I'd probably say to um, just get like one type of dummy and then try that. And then if they don't like it, get a different one. Like don't go and pick a brand and then buy a bunch of them. Because if your baby doesn't like that, then you've just wasted all the money on that, if that makes sense. So those are our must-haves for our babies. Those are the things that we've always, that we love and that we use and that's... I don't know if we could go without, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, those are just the things that we have. Um, if you guys have anything that you that are must-haves for you, I would definitely, definitely, definitely encourage you to put them in the comment section. Um, I love to see what you guys have to say. Um, thank you guys so much for your support on my last few videos. I really appreciate it. It's good to know that people actually enjoy what I'm doing because I'm really really enjoying this whole YouTube thing <laughs> so far um, yeah so if you do have any um, ideas or suggestions for videos just leave them below as always and I'll see you in the next video that I do I hope you enjoyed this one